Guests in the building tonight, the Orange Grove 55 crew. Let's start off by seeing where you guys are, who you guys are, and what we are doing here today. Orange Grove, start it off. All right. You can find me on YouTube where we're talking all about theme parks um, and entertainment. We talk a lot about Star Wars, the MCU, the, the, the industry, all that good stuff. Like today, we're talking a lot about animation and the trouble it's having at the box office. So check us out. I'll be with this guy and these guys actually quite a bit on, on over there on uh, YouTube, Orange Grove 55. You can also find me on Twitter at Orange Grove 55 and on Instagram Orange Grove 55. Awesome, awesome. George, what about you, brother? Yeah, as you can find me on X, formerly known as Twitter, at Disney George. You could also find me on Instagram also, under the Disney Italiano. And, uh, of course, you'll find me on uh, Orange Grove 55 with my segment of uh, Citrus Corner, where I uh, dive deep into all of the, the Disney stuff east of the Mississippi River with Walt Disney World and the Disney Cruise Line with all that sweet, juicy, but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. Love it, love it. And we got Tones, my other half of the Bad Thoughts podcast. How are you doing today, brother? I'm doing well, bro. How are you? I'm good, and I'm good. Usually the rules are, the roles are reversed right? when that, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, hey, if you guys are interested, follow me at Tones underscore TV, all platforms. Uh, follow the podcast, of course, Bad Thoughts podcast. And also follow my, um, my review channel, uh, Bad Thoughts Studio. We review TV shows, movies, you know, react to trailers, stuff like that. So if you're interested, Bad Thoughts Studios on YouTube. Awesome. Appreciate it. So the reason why we have the Orange Grove crew here today, not only that they're huge Disney fans, they're also huge Marvel fans. And we're going to have something so crazy that I didn't even know, like dropped out of left field. We're going to review the Blade trailer um for the new video game that's coming out and the craziest thing about this is that it's actually made by bethesda the same people that brought you um what is it skyrim fallout, fallout. Oh, no. yeah fallout called? skyrim yeah. fallout so this is going to be a different take the only thing is they have done other games in the past like dishonored um which is what i kind of think this might be i have not watched a trailer yet i'm assuming none of y'all even knew this was even a thing or watched the trailer right um, okay. I haven't seen it. I, I've seen it like on my timeline on Twitter, but I haven't watched the trailer yet. Awesome. And I love that. Are you guys big gamers at all? I don't, I don't, don't know if really ever. Man, I haven't played. I haven't. I, <laughs> I haven't played video games like 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 uh, routinely or whatever. Yeah, oh, not. Well, maybe not that long ago, <laughs> but like N64, maybe. Still dating Damn. yourself, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. What it's been you, a while George? for me, too. I uh, I think. I used to be a big gamer growing up. I think as I got older, I just kind of fell out of it. My son is a huge gamer. Like that. I don't even know gamer lingo talk anymore. <laughs> like it's like it's so sad. But I think the last uh, console that I actually was like officially playing like on my own was the PS2. Oh wow! Okay, so, so that's a little more recent than me. This is perfect. This is exactly what I wanted you on here. I, I knew the answer the whole time. What you guys do? Come on. Uh, <laughs> no, it's great because when you hear. When you hear this, like when I brought it to you, hey, there's a Blade game. Like, what is, what was your first thoughts? Um, I think it has potential. Absolutely. You know, I think it has potential. I think, I think you could do a lot with that property. Um, yeah. It could be fun. What do you think, George? You think, you think this is something that, like, you, you would be interested in? Or is it a franchise that you care about where you maybe would play? Like, if you had a console, would you? I think it's Just always. Just in the Disney community, too. Like, y like speaking yeah. from that perspective. I, I, I think it's, I, I always love a good video game that is kind of tied to a a film franchise or just a single movie or even a television show. I, I think it's so cool to kind of see, you know, something that you watch, you know, and it's like, oh, man, if I could only be in that in that time era or if i could be in that moment if i was that character what would i do so i love how that translate well into the gaming world because then you could be that become that character and and kind of live out the the expectations of how you would see the character definitely. um rather than just watching it you become that character definitely i agree 100 percent. tony what about you what are your thoughts um on on this game and on marvel all these marvel games like spider-man you know a plus game but it was also made by a different company do you think bethesda has a lot on their plate do you think they can bring the heat with this no I, yeah i, I do that blade was such a iconic movie iconic storyline people who know blade you know they think first they think wesley snipes because he you know great fucking actor um but it, the blade storyline alone is just phenomenal and putting that into a video game 
or they can utilize his skills. I think it's going to be something fun to do, fun to play. And Bethesda, they've you know always had hit or misses you know throughout the years, but because of how iconic this game is, kind of like how Spider Man was, the storyline I think they can hit perfectly. Um, it's going to be hard as far as getting people to interact or get what blade is because you know blade didn't came out what early 2000s long time ago, yeah something like that so this new generation is going to be a little bit hard to have them buy and trying to you know get the game and understand who blade is unfortunately we haven't yeah. had anything you know um as of late um or even know who blade is you know what i'm saying so that's the only hard part i kind of see them having so arcane and, and, and tony Oh, I'm sorry. I just want to say real quick. And Tony, you bring up a good point. Like before when Marvel was doing really good, doing like everything they touched was gold, right? You can introduce characters like these, you know, like uh, like Guardians or whatever. <clears throat> it's almost a guaranteed hit because I mean, everything the MCU did was just gold. Now it's like it's a lot more hit or miss, right? So it's like they might introduce this character and the, the movie might come out. It might not even do well. You know, it's, it's, a lot, it's a lot more up in the air than it was maybe, you know, six, seven years ago. So oh, yeah. we'll see it. We'll see if the younger audience, you know, it, it takes a liking to it, or if it kind of just kind of flops, yeah. like some of these other ones. One, and there's, one, and there's, go ahead, Tony. Just real quick, one thing they have to do, and they cannot, they cannot do yeah. this and ex and expect success, is put the they can't put the game out before the movie comes out, because people aren't going to understand what the hell or who the, the hell Blade is. Right. Or, or the show. show, excuse me. Yeah, before we, they... we, we got to clarify that because someone got a little upset the last episode because you uh, said it was uh, gameplay. So just just want to oh, shout out okay. to that, that clown out there that has to say stuff in the comments. But but good. yes, the show that the the Blade <laughs> show that's coming out, they they need to drop that before they even come close to putting this game out. So because the it, two it things with this, with Tony. Sorry, cutting you off. The two things with this is Zenimax is part of it which is um they do like the online media stuff so um they did the elder scrolls online the, pretty good stuff i like it but they also did the fallout online stuff nah, whatever um but you also have the um, arcane studios which is helping out with bethesda they're the ones where you said hit and miss games and it's literally been that way it's been flip flop flip flop flip flop um, they yeah. went from dishonored which did great to prey which was ass to Deathloop, which got like a fucking 10 out of 10, to Redfall, which was, I believe, the Xbox's for, or Bethesda's first exclusive video game for Bethesda. So now mm -hmm. this is the question that I don't know if they actually said it yet. Is this game going to be an exclusive just for Xbox? And we know Sony has those exclusive rights to um, to uh, pe Spider-Man. People were pissed because they haven't announced that specific exactly. thing. So I... As a company, being Microsoft, I think it's obviously a win for them. They monopolize the shit out of a lot of these things, and they need some big wins right now, especially because they keep dropping the ball with these Halo games and all this content that they had. Um, they don't have too much first-party stuff anymore. So if they can, if Bethesda can somehow get these rights out of the blue to make a Blade game, and they can make it exclusive for the Xbox, I think that'd be a win for for Microsoft for sure. But they need to make it as good as that Spider-Man game because you know this. That damn well that everyone's going to compare they're, this they're game to that Spider-Man game. Yeah, exactly. Let's get it. And Spider-Man and Spider-Man is more well known than Blade, than Blade. you know, because oh, yeah. Spider-Man is still, you know, coming out with different films and you know with the mm -hmm. Spider Verse and everything, and it's just a, a character that's just more well known and understood through many generations. You could be, you know, a ten-year-old or a, a thirty-year-old. You know, you everyone could somewhere relate to Spider-Man at some point. Does does Sony have those Blade rights, or is that is that Disney mm. was that acquired with Fox? Um, I don't think Sony does. I think that's that's an in-house thing with Marvel it, okay. that doing Blade. Yeah, I know Blade kind of <laughs> correlates to like the um, the Morbius, some Morbius timeline, and that's why I was kind of curious. But that'll be for another show. Um, anyways, y'all ready? Yeah, let's, ro let's rock let's and roll. Do this. I love seeing that that little Marvel sign <laughs> in the beginning. If you notice, okay, I put arcane, the two games yeah. that did good too, by the way. <laughs> 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 
Um, okay, wow. so w- what I have to say about that, well, first off, I, uh, technology and games have come such a long way since <laughs> back in the day when I was playing. I mean, the the the, the realism of, of how they make, you know. These, do, do they still characters. call them graphics? Is that still a thing or no? Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it graphics or no? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> so it's like, geez, Louise. Um, okay, so what I have to say about that is because it kind of ha- gave like a teaser trailer and i love how video game trailers kind of have that with movie theater kind of not movie right. theater, sorry, yeah, m- yeah. film teaser trailers um it's like it doesn't give you the full story but it just kind of gives you enough to engage you to say oh you know what i'm curious to know what this backstory is i'm curious to know yeah. what is the plot of this and i think honestly in today's time too i think a lot of kids just if it does have really good graphics and it's like it's like a, a badass kind of character that you get to play and you get to kind of fillet the enemy so to speak <laughs> um i think anyone would be into it i actually like that that teaser trailer i actually no liked. i thought it was good i actually i was into like i it kind of had me hooked from the beginning like i kind of want to know what's gonna happen what's gonna happen like it, it was it, it, it the setup was really really good it was good it, there wasn't a lot there but the storytelling and the way they kind of set everything up made you want to know what's gonna happen mm-hmm. i i don't look dope dude yeah i agree and there's there's a lot of trailers that we've watched that i'm like mm-hmm. dude i don't like you give me too much, and now I know your game's not going to be good. Like where this right. one, I'm like fuck, dude, I I can't wait for them to drop that second trailer because I, I need to see more. Um, the graphics looked amazing. The lighting on that was so fucking good. Like they had the lighting spot on and everything. The um, the time, like the time of the of the game, I'm trying it's to figure futuristic. It out. It's futuristic. yeah, that's what I was trying to I was trying it, to figure out, but not all the way futurist. Not like fucking. No, it, it's like m- maybe a little bit past modern. Because if you notice, the very first thing we see is the you know the barbershop, and then the car that's parked. It looks like a fucking cyber truck, dude, or a cyber car. Like it looks like those are fun- real though, Tony. Yeah. Well, yeah, they are. And, and then even first even the barbers, <laughs> even the barber's shoes, right? They look like the Mar- Marty McFly's from Back to the Future Two or something. Yeah, like they were crazy, like futuristic, and I, I so, don't know that was pretty cool. What's your thoughts on this potentially being its own? new blade story or is this going to be what was based off of the new show we're going to get see that's the question i don't want to hear like i don't want to guess if it's going to be canon or not you know to, like you have to play this game to get the story of this show. you know like, oh. i don't want those two to correlate at yeah. all dude so I would you rather that, have an og story yes yes yeah. I, I don't think we don't there's no there's no game there's nothing to base this game off like the Okay. Blade was so long, you know what I'm saying? So it, we, we need that story back, and this is a way of doing it. So I'll say this. I agree with Tones. I don't. I wouldn't want to see it have a connection with the show where you have to play the game and finish the game to know it's going to move into the show or vice versa. Mm-hmm. I can't stand that shit. Like, that's just, like, not my thing. I, I completely lose interest when they start doing that. And that's, and that's the issue that Marvel does. Like, you have to constantly watch every little thing to understand what the next set of wave of and the, i think the, i think people are burnt out with that yeah it's just you know it's i'm i'm over it <clears throat> but however i would say that i wouldn't mind seeing this style of blade interpreted into the show 
So, like, it, it has nothing to do with the storyline as wh- whether the game has to do with the show or the show has to do with the game. But I mean, like, as far as the character style of Blade, I think would be kind of cool if they incorporated th- those aspects into the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and that and that's the thing. I, I it's weird because I'm agreeing with both of you because I love that old school dirty blade. Like I don't need another blade in my life. Like the first one was okay for me to have for the rest of my time being. The second one I was like, okay, I'm okay. Watch this. Even the third one, fuck yeah, let's go. Then that new one they did, I didn't even see that shit. But at the same time, I wouldn't, <laughs> I wouldn't now mind seeing a different take on it, which could potentially be this future, a little bit more futuristic style and. Um, I don't know. I just he just looked like he was ready to fucking get out there and, and whoop some ass. So what I got out of that was post apocalypse, but everyone's fucking yeah. vampires instead of zombies. And I think that's <laughs> gonna be fucking cool because I'm getting sick of zombies, dude. Make them fucking vampires now. Hordes of vampires. It was cool. It was dope, dude. I liked the the end shot when you saw Blaze back and it was all red. I just thought it looked really really cool. Um. I'm so into it, man. I'm not. I'm not like a gamer, but I'd be. I'd be. I'm kind of curious how they, what approach they take with this one. You know. I know I'm kind of going. I know I'm kind of going off a tangent here. It has like nothing to do. But I'm a huge fan of Frank Miller's Sin City. I mm. love that that graphic novel style, and I love how they incorporated that into film, um, with the Sin City films. But I I love that kind of Sin City meets kind of. Pulp Fiction meets uh, uh, fucking uh, Van Helsing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So if you if you boys were give it give it a rating, what would you rate that trailer out of ten? So out of ten, okay. Um, I don't know. I was I was pretty into the story. Like it had me intrigued the whole time. Like I want to know what's gonna happen. I know I want to know what's gonna happen. Like it's it, it it kept me intrigued. I'd give it a solid eight. I thought it. I thought it did an effective job at selling it to you. So yeah, I give it about an eight. George, it looked good. Think? The game looks beautiful, actually. I agree. Yeah. Uh, actually, the number I had in my mind was eight. Uh, eight point five. Actually, I think it was like it was a decent trailer. It, it as OG said, it, it kind of caught my attention to want to know more. You know, know the story, learn like what's going to happen. But of course, it's never going to be a perfect ten because it's like. We don't really know fully of it. So just for what the what the trailer was, mm-hmm. definitely a solid eight and a half. Love it. Tones, what are you looking at? Or what are you thinking at? What are you doing? Uh, for for <laughs> teaser trailers, besides the you know, T V shows as far as games, I think teaser trailers are just a little bit different because you get you don't you don't get the full way they're gonna go with the story. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna give it a seven point five. It was you kinda can guess where they're gonna go with it. But it's it's only a teaser trailer. We didn't get much from it. You just kind of can speculate, and I think that's the fun part of it is you're going to speculate what is going to happen. Like he at nighttime, there was a timer going down. You you will you run for your life? Like what the hell's going to go on after that timer goes down? Hit you know the the car that we saw looked like a little bit futuristic. Uh, the dude was scared to fucking um, shave him. You know, there, there's little things that you can speculate what is going to happen. So I'll, I'll give it a 7.5 for now, but I think it's going to go way higher once the real trailer comes out. The only thing that um, made me mad in that whole trailer, though, I will say, is <clears throat> when he cut himself, right? Did he rub his blood on his shirt? That's no, what I thought at first. Towel. It was a towel. It was yeah. a towel. Was a I towel. Thought okay. Why the fuck would he wipe that on his perfectly <laughs> nice bowling shirt that he got from Guy Fieri? And, when, well, and, and you know what I thought it was, too. If you notice, when he cut himself... Um, Blade, you can hear a big inhale when he uh, when he cut himself. You hear like a big inhale, like a like he could smell that's the blood. He was like, oh shit! Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's crazy. Um, Good stuff. So I'm gonna give a Nate also because I forgot it was a game at first. Like I was so yeah. intrigued by this that I was like, yeah, I can, I can watch this as a show, um, even though it's just even the cutscenes. And that's one thing, like with Bethesda, if you ever played any like any of their games, they have some of the best cutscenes, and their stories go pretty deep. So, if this is one of those games where it's going to be, we'll say, fifty-fifty action and cutscenes, I would be okay with that because just that little snippet of what we got. If the rest of that game is like that, and you're going to give me that, I, I would love to. I would love to watch that for sure. So I'm yeah. giving. 
Now, this is off topic because George and I, we're not really gamers. Are you fellas mm -hmm. into this GTA? Are you guys going to mess oh, with that one? Yeah, yeah. So we actually have a, um, a little trailer that we done, a review that we done on the channel right now. So you guys can check that out. But when that thing comes out, I think we're going to go full live stream. I think oh, we're going to nice. do a full live stream on the channel, uh, probably on the Bad Thoughts channel. See, the thing well, about G GTA, um, since you guys aren't big gamers, they have a, um, it's like a role playing um, aspect to it. So you can go make your own server. Like, let's say I made a server and us four were in the server. Uh, there would be hundreds of people in the server, but like you, the cops actually are real people playing behind the you know avatar and then you have people who are actual thugs and you know drug dealers that actually play like role play as drug dealers you have you know actual people working in a salon you know just people actually doing like working that's interesting job. so this wow. this people do that in gta 5 so gta 6 is just going to oh, uplift yeah. well that, 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 that that's like way far away like the last the last gta i played was san andreas so it's like yeah me too and you could pick up like you could pick up the hooker and you can do the whole thing that was fun that was really fun and there's like cheat codes too where you get like a giant tank and you're like invincible mm -hmm. right no. see that's what, only, that's what i want go ahead the only thing that kind of sucked about this uh, the GT, <clears throat> excuse me, the GTA 6 trailer was it was leaked. It wasn't even an official trailer that was going to be yeah, dropped. Yeah. Rockstar dropped the trailer because it was leaked on someone else's Twitter, which, you know, forced their hand to have to release it on their YouTube because it, it would have been. But the to top that part off, it doesn't come out till 2025. Oh, so we, man. we're gonna wait a whole year plus we don't know when in 2025 it could be december of 2025 <sighs> so it's you know so that sucks that's what hurts the most having to wait um i think it's one of those where i'm ready for it though you know like i'm already ready to play that game and it does suck that it was leaked because if i if it wasn't leaked i would have been okay waiting until 2024 and then them being like oh it's coming out next right. year right even though i know it's like couple months you know a month away from being there um 2024 but yeah no it's definitely going to go down i think i'm gonna i'll be there live streaming it myself tony wants to jump on i think we're going to do that i'm pretty sure it's going to have multiplayer cool. too uh i think everyone's going to be very interested it's going to be number one seller for sure i think it's going to oh, no win question. a whole bunch of awards which um, honestly that probably would be a run i bet the end of not to burst your guys bubble but like the end of 2025 because the yep. holidays Christmas gifts, you know, oh, that's yeah. that's gonna be a hot seller. Yeah. And they, they're not even gonna honestly. This game is so fucking crazy that they don't they can put it on on your birthday, and it's still gonna sell. Mm -hmm. No mm -hmm. offense, not, not saying that no one's gonna go to your birthday, but <laughs> just giving a random date. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, let's get off topic or on topic. Uh, everyone, once again, I appreciate everybody coming out here and uh, follow these guys down here, at Orange Grove Fifty Five. If you want to tell them real quick one more time where they can find you at, and we can get out of here. Absolutely. You can find me and this guy right here and these guys actually um, on Orange Grove 55 on YouTube. We talk theme parks, entertainment, all that good stuff. Um, you can find uh, me on Instagram, Orange Grove 55, and on Twitter at Orange Grove 55. And you can find me on uh, X, formerly known as Twitter as well, at Disney George. You could also find me on Instagram under the Disney Italiano. And of course, you'll find me on uh, Orange Grove 55 with Citrus Corner with all that sweet, juicy, but sometimes sticky Disney news and info. <laughs> there we go. And Tony, we know who you are, but you can tell us again. I'm Tony. There it is. He's Tony. I'm the Cannon Camper. You can find us at anything that says bad thoughts on it, unless it's not our channel. Um, you can find us. <laughs> <laughs> find this at the Canada Camper. Uh, I'm going to do some shorts on this too and probably throw them up on the Bad Thoughts podcast. Check all of us out. Like, subscribe. It's uh, helpful because then you get to see all this cool, crazy content. You get real, the real deal. Like, this is no sugar coating. We're not here to bullshit. We want to give you how we feel. And uh, that's what we did today, especially with two people that don't play video games. You got an 8 and 8.5. That's pretty good. That means Bethesda did the right thing. And hopefully mm -hmm. that'll bring in more people that are not gamers. So I appreciate everybody out there. Thank you so much. And we'll catch you on the next one.